Hey guys, welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. Right now we're in Colorado for Christmas and uh, we're experiencing our first, uh, probably I would call it major snowstorm. Of course I say that and it probably won't snow that much. Last I saw we were supposed to get up to six inches. So we are camped at Kelly's grandparents right now. We have the underbelly of our trailer about 85% insulated and I still have more to do on it but uh that's going to come later when we have a uh, barn scenario that we can park in uh, i'll finish that video up here soon as of right now the weather is 16 degrees and it's starting to snow right now it's blowing 23 miles per hour and it's only going to get worse it's going to get down to uh negative four tonight and then into tomorrow it just keeps getting worse and worse so tomorrow morning we're, we're looking at negative 10 and then the the following day overnight is negative 14 and then that whole next day is pretty cold too with the wind blowing tonight we're supposed to get some insane wind chills we're gonna have wind chills up to 50 below so at least that's what the this weather alert's saying right here so we're gonna see if the trailer's gonna stay warm i have it pretty uh well insulated and sealed up right now uh we went and replaced propane we have full propane tanks and we also have the electric fireplace going right now we'll see if we can make through the storm we took safety precautions we went ahead and winterized all the pipes just because uh, a safety concern we didn't want anything to burst and so we put antifreeze in the pipe system and then we have a little bit in the gray and black tank which are pretty much empty right now because we just dumped them from moving from our last campsite i don't think we'll have any tank issues but we do have the heaters heater strips on those tanks right now i'll give you guys an update here soon all right update for you guys it's 10 50 right now it's negative seven degrees out it feels like negative 21 and the snow is still going just a little bit we got the heat cranked the fireplace cranked and we have um, an electric blanket that we'll probably use tonight to, to help keep us warm. But overall, it's staying really warm in here. Um, it's maintaining. And every now and then the, the gas heat stops um, and takes a little break. So it's not fully running full time. So that's, that's a good thing. Um, we got enough insulation going on in here. Uh, to withstand those temperatures so so far so good uh, let's take a peek outside real quick check the dogs in the dog room my temperature gauge says it's 43 back there Pretty comfortable. Windows are freezing from the condensation. But overall, not too bad in here. All right, I'm heading to bed and uh, we'll see how the night goes. Um, I think right now it's the coldest it's gonna be. And it's gonna get really, really cold in the morning at negative eight degrees. So we'll see how the night goes and see if we stay comfortable in here. Hopefully we stay pretty warm and hopefully we don't run out of propane. So like I said, we have fresh tanks right now, so I don't think we will, but we'll see how the night goes and I'll see you guys in the morning. Here. 
Hey guys, I just crawled into bed and our nose is not that insulated and we, we've kind of been noticing that lately. But uh, just to show you how uninsulated it is, this was laying right here. And it's really cold when you put your hand down there. I went to grab it and it's, it's frozen. So just to show you how cold it really is. We got frozen water. I feel like there's a lot of air coming in this, this seam right here. I'm gonna have to look into that closer in the future. <laughs> Good dogs. You're not. Let's go. Come on. Here. Let's go. All right, are we cold enough? Let's go. Just trying to show you guys how cold it is. Look how frozen our metal trim is around our door. I mean, that, that stuff is getting pounded by heat. But it's completely frozen. And then the windows windows are pretty frozen too I've never stayed in a horse trailer before or a camper or anything where it's been this cold outside before so all right guys this morning it was negative 15 with a wind chill of negative 28 uh, overall it stayed pretty darn warm in this camper um, I had some issues up in the nose, as you guys saw, um, but uh, we ended up putting a blanket down and fixed most of that. So I have every window insulated with this stuff right here. It's really a lot of condensation buildup, but these windows actually have drains for that and it drains outside. Um, but these windows are so drafty it's not too bad right now the wind's not blowing that bad they're but they're so drafty that i like to use that that insulation on them to to help keep it warmer in here and not get so much air in there so so yeah overall um made it through the night uh we had to start the truck this morning we plugged in the engine heater on the diesel last night and we just kind of let it run all night because it was so cold and we knew we had to start it in the morning um and it started right up and and ran pretty well uh with no issues so we planned on that you know if you own a diesel you, you might in these temperatures you're definitely going to want an engine heater to help warm up them glow plugs so uh if you don't have one definitely get one if you're going to be in this kind of temperature We have another day of this uh, I'll keep you posted on the outcome it's supposed to get even colder so far uh, everything ran pretty good until this morning and and we ended up blowing a breaker so uh, had to hurry hurry up and got that get that fixed before it got too cold in here but um we found the the problem pretty quickly and got got that taken care of <laughs>
really cold out there. All right. Hey guys, it's night two of this cold weather. Trailer's staying really warm. It's staying really warm in the dog area. It's probably like negative 13 out here. I'm not 100% sure I need to go check it, but I think it is negative 13. And uh, I'm just letting the dogs out for the night. And uh, then we're gonna head back in and call it a night. You ready to go in? Are you cold? Are you cold? Reason. Reason. Come on. What is your problem? Oh, is it too cold? Huh? Is it too... Did you get too cold? That's what you get. You shouldn't have ran off like that. So then here, something we we don't have going on is we don't have any dogs on the bottom layer. They're all up here where it's higher because it's hotter up here. All the heat is rising off that heater and the floor stays pretty cold and the snow really doesn't melt as you can see it on the ground right there. But I just can't get over this door right here. It's like a, all the metal is ice. You have a big old window of ice right here because of all the condensation these dogs are putting off right here so yeah pretty crazy so i found out this storm is called elliot it's a uh, hitting a good majority of the u.s uh they're saying it's quite the storm and right now when i was out there it's negative 15 degrees out there right now and the wind chill feels like negative 24 and the wind isn't really blowing that much so that that is some pretty cold temperatures um i know some of you guys up north might not think that's very cold but uh that's pretty cold to me so that's quite the low from what i've ever experienced so um so far so good the storm's supposed to let off tomorrow we wake up tomorrow it's gonna be like negative nine but after that looks like it's gonna hit the teens and we're not gonna see negative temperatures anymore yeah, in like three days it's supposed to warm up to like 50 and 47 and then the day we have to travel uh it says it's going to be 55. i hope all the snow and everything's cleared and everything's ready to go by then because um i don't want to have a travel day with uh snow on the ground hauling this big ass trailer so anyways i'll uh check in with you guys in the morning uh so far so good everything's going good except for that one circuit breaker that pops so We'll see how this night goes. Side note, we've been keeping these cabinet doors open because there's so much heat in there. And we're kind of letting it come out and escape into the, the camper more. Back here, we're leaving that one open because there is no heat in there right now. Usually the water heater keeps it warm in there, but we're not running it right now. So I'm keeping that open so it stays warm inside of there. Hey guys, I just crawled in the bed and the mattress pad that we have on our mattress is like as hard as a rock. It's crazy how hard it is today. Um, and I think the mattress is a little hard too. So, uh, pretty weird. Um, pretty weird how hard it got, but it's not overly cold. 
Uh, but I'm going to turn on the electric blanket. Maybe that'll soften it up a little bit, but just thought I'd share that. It's pretty weird that, uh, how hard it got. It's pretty crazy. It's like it's out outside and it's frozen or something. But just thought I'd give you guys that little update. Well guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. We survived the storm. Let me know down in the comments, uh, if you guys enjoyed this kind of content, um, and do me a favor and hit that like button. This is something I've never done before is camp in, you know, negative. I think the worst it got was 16 degrees. Um, so it was pretty interesting to see how the trailer held up and how uh, everything functioned uh, in this cold weather. So it was, it was pretty crazy. Uh, we were not really planning on uh, to get caught in a storm like this while we were here, but it ended up happening anyway, so we just hunkered down and made the best of it. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this experience, and I will see you guys on the next Redbeard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outdoors and keep RVing. See you guys on the next one.